In this tutorial, I'll show you how to automatically translate subtitles into multiple languages for free using Facebook's No Language Left Behind modules. I'm going to be doing this inside subtitle edit. Please follow along. It's super, super simple. Now, No Language Left Behind is more or less uh, AI translation and it's a project that uses open source models capable of delivering evaluated high quality translations directly between 200 languages, uh, including low resource languages like Austrian, Luganda, Urdu, and more. Now, uh, there's a ton of things that you can read about, and I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. Uh, and this is the website from Meta. Uh, and then I found this website that clearly indicates the languages that are available. I also leave it in uh, the description below for you guys to kind of check out your languages uh, that are available. They do have a small video here and also this particular PDF. So this PDF is what has uh, the languages. Uh, you'll be able to see the languages there. Now, we're going to go to uh, the subtitle edit website, nixa.dk, and I'm going to go to the help section. And from here, I'll press on control F and look for NLLB. And this is uh, for the automatic translation. We want to go with Facebook's no language left behind. And uh, for you to run Facebook's NLLB with support over 200 languages, it works via NLLB sub or NLLB API running as local web API. So NLLB sub requires Git and Python.pip. So these are requirements if you're going to be installing all these uh, different options and you install with these particular commands. So I'm going to uh, go with this first, just copy this and then open up command and paste that particular code. So, uh, and it's not an empty. So let us see, uninstalling, running, uh-huh. So a new release of PIP is available. Uh, let us see. I believe everything is done. If I'm not mistaken, everything is done as it should be. Mm, there we go. Found existing installation, uninstalling, successfully uninstalled, running setup, hi, successfully installed. So uh, to run it, run with this command. And once you do that, uh, it's going to start doing things in the background. Now, the one thing you need to understand is that it has to download some modules uh, right inside your computer. So some of those modules are a little bit big. So you need to be aware of that uh, because for example, this particular module is about 2.46 gigabytes. So that is something you need to be aware of. Uh, but you'll need all these things to work as they should. So we're going to give it a couple of minutes. And once it's done, we're going to get back uh, to business and actually see how it works. And the good thing with this is that once you do these particular downloads, you'll now have access to these uh, particular language models on your computer for you to use when you want uh, to actually use subtitle edit to automatically translate using Facebook's No Language Left Behind. And that is the NLLB sub uh, that we're downloading. Should take about five more minutes or so uh, for it to be done. So let's give it some time and we'll see what we're actually going to get uh, once it's done. Now our file is almost done downloading, about seven more seconds to go here. And uh, we'll see what follows next. So there we go, it's about done. And once it's done, it's done downloading the PyTorch model, dot bin, so it's 100%. There we go. It's downloading uh, some other uh, some other few extra things here. Uh, small applications here and there. Do not use in production environment. Uh, so uh, everything uh, is set. Distill, serving Flask. Uh, there's a warning. There's a development server. Do not use it in a production deployment. A warning that they, uh -huh, do not use it in production deployment. Use a production WSGI server instead. Running 
on here gives you all these things here uh, control C now that we have downloaded and installed the NLLB sav that is more or less modules for us to use the Facebook NLLB let's uh, run this particular command let's copy it and go to command prompt I'll paste it in and then press on enter and it's going to do its thing in the magic so it's loading the model Facebook NLLB distill 600m and so on and so forth uh, root could unavailable uh, there's not much issue there and it's ready for us to uh, actually work on so it's uh, running on all addresses uh, running on this and so on and so forth so uh, I'll just close subtitle edit a bit and then open it up and then from here uh, if we look at the settings auto translate uh, you should see something like this although it's almost kind of default uh, but because we've already installed the NLLB sav and also the model has already been installed we're now going to go to video open video file and I'll just get this video and then I'm going to go uh, generate uh, or convert audio to text via whisper to make it quicker I'm going to generate we have some subtitles for us to work with here so I want to kind of uh, do my best to show everything uh, more or less side by side so we've got that and then we've got this so uh, I believe you can see both windows uh, right about here now I'm going to go to auto translate auto translate and from here uh, the server that we installed is the NLLB sav if you install the NLLB API then you'll go to this I'll click on this and once I do that, you can see that the URL here also coincides with the URL up here. Next up, I'm going to choose a language. For this, I'm going to go with Swahili to see if it's actually going to translate what is here. And then click on translate. Once I click on translate, you'll see info, root, loading. And everything is going to start uh, transcribing and translating in real time. So looks really good. Uh, let's click OK. And if I now maximize this, uh, let us see. In this video, katika video hii, nita kuonesha jinsi ya kuongeza vichwa vya habari kwenye video zako za media ya kijami. Pretty bonkers. Next up. I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast using the script. We are going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you like to capitalize. Mm capitalizing it's mentioned it in english not so heavy mm -hmm. the alex amosi style and everything that you like to see stick around to the end i'll show you how to make this super super fast should be kwaharaka or something thanks for watching and let's begin hmm. not bad so i think it looks good i think it looks good i can actually try and use it again uh, to my native language Let's just go with the video again. Uh, let's actually clear this. New. I don't want to save. My native language is Kikuyu and I want to see how good it can be uh, in all this because I've noticed that they do have a Kikuyu subset. Uh, go to auto translate. And then let me choose Kikuyu somewhere up here. K. Should be K. Kikuyu. Translate. So when we see here, it's going to start doing its magic again here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bonkers because I can see what is going on here and it's included. My God, Jesus. My, <laughs> okay, let me try and kind of read this. In this video, they know our video, you know, Nego Kunia or Ogia Gerara is you just your videos here, Kusia social media. It's pretty bonkers. My God. I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks. Well, should be descript. My Lord. Reels super fast using the script. We are going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you like to capitalize, the Alex Amosi style, and everything that you like to see. Stick around to the end. I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. Thanks for watching and let's begin. 
Now, I have to say that Facebook's no language left behind is pretty wild. That's all I can say for now. And I'm almost sure it's going to be getting much, much better with time uh, because of the data se uh, subset are uh, a little bit dated, but they still reflect what's, what's on the ground. But more or less, if you want to auto translate multiple subtitles or subtitles for free into multiple subtitles over 200 languages are supported at the time of recording this video, then using Facebook's no language left behind in subtitle edit can ease your process. It's free. And all you need to do is just follow the installation process. And then before you do anything, once you install everything, always remember to run the command nllbserv uh, right up here. And once you do that, you can be able to see everything in real time. So remember for it to always work, you need to run the command. And once you run the command on command prompt, you'll always see uh, some things of this sort because is kind of reading from uh, your computer or where it actually installed those particular models. But that is how you can auto translate subtitles into multiple languages for free using Facebook's no language left behind in subtitle edit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.